Hi everyone, Chrissy Jessica here. So today I am talking about my vegan struggle part two. I know I have not been on YouTube in a very long time and yeah, my grandmother told me to make a video so here I am. Hi grandma. Um, so in this time that I have been away, I have done my research and decided that I would definitely move to being a more ethical vegan and in this I mean I am trying to do everything in my power not to eat which I don't already uh eat where or consume animal products animal byproducts or wear animal products or use them in any crazy form that they come in um, cause they're everywhere and it's crazy. Um, actually making this video reminded me of one thing that I still need to change, which are my razors. Um, apparently the strip of your razor, if it's like gelled, has animal products on it, which is disgusting. Why? Okay, I'm not gonna keep doing that. But, um, I'm just gonna share some things that I have changed and some things that I have not changed. I'm gonna go in with the two things that I have not changed. Um, I have a bag, and I've showed this bag before on previous videos. It is my Michael Kors bag. This is the bag. I use this bag for school. Um, my mother gave me this bag for Christmas two or three years ago. This is the only designer bag I have ever owned, and it is the most sturdiest, um, supporting bag I've ever owned. Um, I'm able to fit a laptop in here, multiple books, and food, and everything I would need for a day at school, and I love it, and... I feel really bad saying that, but I have not found a bag, and I have been shopping for a vegan bag that looks like this and has multiple pockets and that is big enough and sturdy enough that I can throw it around and not worry about it, and I won't worry about things falling out or breaking. Um, so that's why I have not gotten rid of this bag. Um, I am in the process of, like I said, looking for a bag. And, um, I just don't want to be yelled at by anyone because I am trying. I only kept two non-vegan things. And, um, I only use this bag for school. And then on weekends, what I do is use bags like these, which is pretty big and I love it. I actually got this bag from Kanan. It was a dollar. It says Tomboy. Um, I'm pretty sure the proceeds of this bag were donated. I actually don't know where. But it says on the bag, um, not just a tote bag, uh, it's 40,000 liters of clean drinking water for an entire community. So, it says right there. I'm glad that, um, I was able to help somebody by buying this bag. Um, so this is what I use. I put food and clothes and whatever I would need on a weekend out when I'm not home. Or I even bring them wherever. Like, this is my everywhere bag. So trying to get rid of this bag. I promise I'm going to. The other thing that I'm still using that is not vegan is this. This is a very old shoe. I've been out of high school for a very long time and I got this my freshman year of high school. You could tell it's damaged and they really should be thrown out and I have replaced it with a shoe from Payless, but I still can't find the way to throw this out. I actually had other Uggs that I donated that were in way better condition, but like, I I just can't throw these away and I don't know why. Um, but I will, I will, I'm going to. I think I'm gonna put these in the garbage later. I just wanted it for this video, but I've had these for a long time and it's just, the problem with things like this is you become so custom to using things and you don't realize, like, um, before I even thought about becoming an ethical vegan, the first thing I've done way long ago was get rid of all my makeup that was not cruelty free. 
and I gave that all to my mother. And she's actually starting to buy cruelty-free makeup because she's been using some of my makeup. And she's like, wow, I really like this. I really like this. So we are changing things. My clothes, I went through all my clothes and made sure that they're all cotton and um, polyester and not silk and other animal things or wool. Like, I make sure we have nothing like that. It's either polyester or cotton in this house. I'm trying. Um... I'm trying not to use um, plastic bags. I bought a million of these bags from ShopRite and they're huge, like look how big they are. They're massive and they fit so much food in there. Um, I've changed toothpaste, um, crest test on animals and Tom's doesn't and I'm first trying to figure out if I actually like this toothpaste so I'll let you know in another video and I promise there'll be another video. But, like, it's just simple things you can change. Baby wipes. Um, everyone uses the bathroom. So, um, I used to use the Huggies or the Pamper ones or whatever. And now I'm using Sen uh, Seven Generation because they don't test on animals. No testing on animals. Um, I'm trying to limit, um... Water bottles. You've seen this cup before. Um, I think that's all that I've thought of and done so far. Um, but I'm, I'm like trying. I'm trying so hard to be a good ethical vegan. And, um, I think a lot of people beat themselves up for, um, trying to do the right thing and not fully accomplishing it. And that's kind of what I'm doing with the bag and, uh, the Uggs. And... I think I have come a long way. I've always wanted designer bags and designer clothes, and now it's just like, I don't want that. I want the best for the environment and the animals and myself, and I don't know. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping I wasn't so awkward. Randy says my videos are really awkward. I'm sorry. Um... I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't yell at me for the bag and the shoes. I am trying. I'm trying so hard. Um, if you have any tips or recommendations or videos you want to see, I know I've been away a long time, but I appreciate everyone who stayed subscribed to me and especially to my grandmother because she yelled at me and told me to get back onto YouTube. So this video is for you, G. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you in my next video. Bye, guys.